Guys, look at the MPG I was getting it last night at the highway. That is pretty good. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today, guys, we're doing an interesting mod that I've teamed up with Omega Tuning to do. So they sent me out these toe straps. There's some around here. Some are probably in the back of the trunk. And uh, we're trying to do a custom mod to where if it barely comes out of the toe, the actually tow hook area, I don't really like how it just sags out 100%. So I'm going to show you guys how we do that here. You guys probably saw from the thumbnail how it looks, and I love it. I've always seen people do it. I just wonder how they do it. So I went out and reached out to Omega Tuning and asked them how is this possible. They told me the tools I need. It's very cheap. I, say, I think I spent like 8 bucks for the tools. And then uh, I got the actual tow hook. You can just plug in the tow hook like every other car. It's very easy. It installs like a minute, um, even 30 seconds. But if you want to do it the way I'm doing it, which looks a lot cleaner, um, stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and clear up the garage and get this car inside so we can go ahead and do the tow hook. I'm really excited for this. I hope you guys are too. So this is everything you'll be needing for this install. Regular tow hooks, this is pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory to install these guys. But we're doing, we're going to kind of above and beyond, which I went ahead and picked up this Dremel from uh, Harbor Freight. Put up a picture right here. Also, a link down in the description if you guys want to purchase it. I think it was like 10 bucks with pretty much everything you need to pretty much to cut into this little plastic thing right here. So yeah, let's get this out, figure it out, and uh, hopefully it's gonna look good. So good. I pretty much all this to go in and just a little piece of it to stick out like that. I think that'll look really sick. Um, will it fit in? It should fit in. So we're gonna literally cut into the middle right here and uh, pretty much we're gonna cut in big, we're gonna cut bigger and bigger as we go. We just wanna make sure we get it as thin as possible to where it's snug. We don't want it to kind of like come out and in. Um, so I'll show you guys how to do that real quick. But yeah, you need this Dremel tool. It's pretty cheap. I think I got this for like 10 bucks. Um, comes with all the cutting tools and everything, a lot of blades. Uh, it comes with the, yeah, literally the blades and everything. You don't have to purchase anything. You just purchase this little kit from Harbor Freight and you'll be good to go. Damn, I think it looks so fire. All right, guys, so this is what we have to work with right now. I'm probably gonna have to end up rewrapping this, like I said, but uh, let's just go ahead and cut something like a little rectangle. Very, very thin rectangle. So, guys, the width right now is absolutely perfect. Uh, we just gotta cut upwards now a little bit over and down i think i might even just cut a little bit above it and just bring it down like that i think that's what i'm gonna do I think that looks perfect guys that's looking actually so good um, obviously it looks a little bit rough to the edges but if you just go ahead and rewrap it or whatever if you guys is painted um it's gonna be a little bit of a different topic mine's is wraps i could just peel off the wrap and rewrap it but honestly i think you know rock it as is you know okay now that we have all this stuff out of the way let's see if our uh toe strap goes in i think it's a little bit you need know, a little bit thicker a wider what the heck yeah i think we need to go a little bit wide uh, a little bit higher a little bit higher yeah all right guys, I think we're good to go. If you guys go ahead and look at this, it's basically my cut. Um, doesn't have to be perfect. You're not really gonna notice it, especially when you put the toe strap in. Um, but yeah, especially that's the bottom. I have a little bit of imperfection there, but the toe is gonna be lying over that. So if I go ahead, push it in. That look, guys, that looks so good. What the heck? I'll probably end up rewrapping it just because there's a little bit of black right here, but oh my lord that looks so good and it actually doesn't even come out as you can see and that's what i want and is it going pretty easy or it's kind of hard it's kind of difficult no, nothing crazy nothing crazy you can see the whole car shaking guys because this is actually bolting onto the frame of the car so this is actually usable this is not no like you know just for looks if i need to get towed they put their hook huh yeah so shout out to omega tuning they can you can actually tow your car from here i would I recommend taking this cap out like this leave it dangling like this when you need to tow it so at least it doesn't rip your cap out and break it but um yeah i think this is gonna look so sick all right guys so jonathan pretty much tightened in the bolt so we're just gonna go ahead and just feed this inwards just put it in an angle this this and that um we're gonna have just a little bit like that go ahead and put this in place oh my god dang i'm gonna leave it like oh dude that looks really good <laughs> no way dude <laughs> no up. way dude it comes in and out guys like it, it takes like it, it won't just come out through a wash or anything you see like i'm moving my hand back and forth it won't just come out because i did a very snug like do a very thin cut and then work your way up and down up and down until it barely fits in i can 
feed it inwards. This is how it looks when it's feed in. It just sticks out like that. Do you think it looks better when it's sticking out or when like it's dangling down? It, when it's dangling a little bit like that. So bring it out like that? Yeah, that looks a lot better in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Dang. Shit. That looks crazy. Well, the yellow on yellow right now. <laughs> Omega tuning. Omega oh, yeah. tuning. All right, guys. So yeah, if you guys want to check out these tow hooks, these can actually tow your car. These are not just for looks. These are like real tow hooks. And you guys can see with a quick little mod with a little drimmer, it looks insane. It looks like a million bucks. Um, this is like one of those things I've always seen online and I really want to try it myself. I just reached out to them, they told me the instructions and pretty easy, honestly. I just needed one tool that's like eight bucks. Let me just, let's go ahead and put it in the, the back as well. All right guys, I don't even have a cover for the back, I completely forgot. So I just pretty much left the wrap over it like this. Pretty janky, I know. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and just cut into it. So, uh, a little problem here. Um, since this wrap was never cut before, it's looking pretty ugly right now. So. I'm gonna have to order one of these tow hook things back here. It's not a big deal for now. I mean, it's not a big deal, but for now it's not gonna look as good, but you know, what are you gonna do? Pretty much did the cutout, so it's gonna need a little cap back here. I'm gonna look it up. But as of now, we can just go ahead and put in the tow strap. Rock it. All right, guys, so this is how the tow hook looks in the back. It would look a whole lot nicer, honestly, if I had the caps. I'm gonna go ahead and place an order on that. Honestly, completely forgot about it, but the front, guys, is insane. Like, just the details, you know, yellow on yellow. It's gonna look so good for photos as well, and it serves a purpose. It's not just for looks. Hey, guys, welcome back. This is actually day two. So, basically, we're back home. We did the mods to the M3. We actually ended up doing another mod to the M3, which I'm not gonna be showing you guys in this video because I wanna title a separate video, uh, mainly because we put a lot of time into this video and I wanna show you guys how to do step-by-step -step this next mod. Um, these two mods I've been doing, I kinda wanna show you guys because they're unique mods. It's not something you can just do if I tell you guys to do it. I want you guys to see step-by-step -step how to do it and that's what you guys have been asking for, so yeah. Next mod is going to be the next video, but today's video is a giveaway. So you guys can see the amazing, amazing tow hook strap, Omega tuning, intake scoops. Love those so much. But for you guys, we have a small giveaway here for you guys. As you can say, it's a fairly large giveaway. So yeah, guys, pretty much have a bunch of ear scoops for you guys. So if you guys want to get an amazing look for free, basically, stay tuned. All right, guys. So yeah, we got two also license plate covers right here. OEM BMW stainless steel. Looks amazing. Went ahead and BMW picked those up for you guys. And uh, a friend of mine gave me this for the M3, but I'm, I don't think I'm gonna be rocking this. I'm also gonna be giving away this as well. So you guys can see we're doing a huge giveaway on this channel. This is just saying a huge special thank you guys for hit, for surpassing 35K. It's been insane. 35K is absolutely insane. And we're just working our way to 50K. So we have 50K guys, we're doing a car giveaway, a huge car giveaway. Pick it up an E90 or an E46 or a Z3 or a Z4 or some, some BMW build, build it and give it to one, to one of you guys. So I'm super excited for that. So in this video guys, we're not gonna be giving away these two. We're gonna be giving with these away in the near future. And so is these guys. In this video guys, we're gonna be doing all kinds of cool things with these intake scoops and giving away at least four or five to you guys. All right, Jonathan, so for you, pick one. Pick one, throw on your car. So already decided. <laughs> we're gonna be throwing, that's actually perfect because I feel like for them, they would like colors. For you, you're trying to keep it low key, trying to keep it OEM as possible. So that should at least be noticeable. That's the same one my friend went with his uh, BMW. Did you notice it? Exact same one. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and install these scoops. These are 3D printed by a close friend of mine. He sells these for really cheap, I think 40 bucks. Compared to these ones, um, these are a lot more pricier, but they are bigger, they look better, and the quality is so much better. These are actually metal and it's very easy to install compared to these ones. So they're obviously, you, you pay for what you get, but for those of you guys who are a broke boy like myself, these are always an option. So yeah, Jonathan, let's go ahead and install these suckers. And then uh, I want to come back and show you guys what we're going to be doing to one of them before we start giving away the rest of them. All right, guys, so we got Jonathan's new intakes on there. Went ahead and just put in one clip on there. We don't have the other one, so Ripperino and then the two screws. And yeah, you can slightly see it. 
more distinct in person, but uh, looks good, looks good. Not just trying to keep this car as like stock looking as possible, but still adding a few mods to it. I think it's looking really clean, so uh, yeah. So, my other plan for one of these, we're actually going to destroy one. So, uh, let's get into it. This is his V1s or V2s, and then the rest of these are v his V3s, which are the updated versions. I received one of these with a crack on them. These were his V2s. Um, I got these like last, like it was my last batch, and you guys saw them, and I told you guys I was gonna give, was gonna give these away, but I didn't want to like promote them when they crack this easy. Like, it cracked in the packaging, so I didn't want to promote them. They're actually very thin compared to these ones. That's why these ones are a little bit harder to install because they are 3D printed, but they're thicker and they're reinforced. So this one is the V2, um, which I, I'll be giving away. It doesn't, you know, you guys are not paying for this one. I'll be giving away no problem. But I will be trying to test one of these uh, V3s to make sure to make sure the quality is good. So if you guys didn't win these and you guys want one of these, you can just check out his uh, eBay link. But uh, let's just go ahead and test the durability. Which one do you think we should? I think we should do the black, right? Because black isn't as a. Uh, should we try black? Black's pretty clean though. Oh, black's clean. Okay. Uh, what do you think? I feel like this color is kind of like green. This is lame. I feel like I would even like this on my M3. Like this looks good. Sure. I don't know. Blue looks good. Yellow looks good. Okay. If anything, I'll take that one out. The green, because we can replace Two, it with that green. Four, okay, so that was it, actually? Yeah. Dang, I'll let's try that. So basically, guys, we're gonna try to destruct, they're gonna try to basically break this thing. We'll see how much, uh, basically a durability, durability. test. Yeah. yeah. So uh, let's check this out. So this is just the drop test, right? Yeah. All right. Okay, well, how'd it take it? So There's far, some, so good. No little, cracks anywhere? A little scratch, barely. Uh, no cracks? No cracks? No cracks. Cool. He reinforced the, the part that cracks the most, so yeah, let's just let's see this. I mean. Man, our neighbors must hate me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they hate you. All uh, right, just throw it as high as you can. Or just one? Uh, let's do both of them. Just to see, like, it's a 50-50 chance. Okay, well. Um, yeah, this one broke. How's that one? Obviously, it's not meant to be thrown in the air. <laughs> it's not meant to be thrown in the air. But if, let's just say, you get an accident, your scoops aren't making it. So, uh, but this one's fine, right? That's expected, honestly. Yeah, it's expected. It's it's 3D printed. I'm not really expecting it's going to be like stainless steel. But, uh, hey, but that other one held up pretty fine. Yeah, now I'm going to put all my body weight on this one. Yeah, just stand on that one. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. So if you guys want to enter the giveaway, check out that first link. It's basically telling you guys if you guys want to subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram. If you do that type of stuff, you will enter the giveaway. Basically, I have five of these. Normally, in my giveaways, I, I usually get like 500 entries around there. So if I have five, that's one out of 100, which is actually not that bad if you think about it. Because like other YouTubers, they do like one giveaway, but it's like one in a million, you know? So I mean, one in 100 is pretty high odds, I'm not gonna lie. And that's if we get 500, maybe, maybe we get 200. You never know. But anyways, um, I'm gonna go out, eat out with Jonathan, and then we're gonna go ahead and edit this video. So this video's gonna go kinda late, but it's fine. We have to eat, we have to keep our bodies moving. So without further ado, I love you guys so much. Remember to stay humble, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse, man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words and I put them all together in circ, cause I wanna have worth.